Well, I'm Richard Gaudry. I, I guess my unfancy title is head chipmonger. Been at Zaps for about 23 years now and have enjoyed bringing some really great food to the folks, not only in Louisiana, but all across the uh, Gulf Coast area. Now we're bringing it to even more folks. So we're gonna walk around for a few minutes and go through the plant. We'll show you how we make from raw potatoes to finished product. Then we'll go through each step showing you how we uh, have different machines that do some things, and yet some things are still done by hand because the old fashioned way is the best. So the process is the potatoes come in straight from the farm. At that point, they still even have a little mud on them. They'll be taken out, washed, peeled, and then from there, they'll be sent to a slicer and then into the cooker. They'll cook for a few minutes. At that point, the finished chips come out are unseasoned at this point. All, all the seasoning's done and a little bit later. Or if we were going to make unseasoned ones, these would go straight into the bag. But at this point, they haven't been through the inspection process, uh, and they'll be ready for seasoning. So here at this point, the chips are coming in, but they haven't been inspected yet. So any defect is going to be picked up by this optical sorter. So what's happened here is this machine literally takes a picture of every chip as it goes across a high-speed conveyor. It compares it to what we have up here for standards. If it likes the chip, it lets it go by. If it sees something it doesn't like, it rejects it with a little puff there. So the chips that get passed are the good ones. And the rejects are obviously thrown away. So let, let's follow the process. So you've already gotten them. They're made chips. They go into the accumulator. They go past the inspector. Then they'll go up. So let's pick it up up there and I'll show you where they go. They're going to come up in a series of bucket lifts. They're going to go to these vibrating conveyors. They'll go into this, this silver trough, go across, they vibrate back and forth. And as each machine needs chips, the computers will call for it and these gates will open and close. It'll meter out the right amount of seasoning or spice based on the amount of chips going by. Then it'll go into these tumbling drums. The irony of this is we have two folks up here putting the boxes together by hand. At one time, we had bought five machines that assembled them automatically, and they didn't work as well as the two people up here doing it by hand. <laughs> so here, all the boxes are coming in. They'll be, the bottoms will be assembled. They'll go down, and you'll see the bags go in there. Uh, then at this point, the chips will drop down into that chute, and they'll go into the bag as the bag is being made. Well, what's happening here, this is called the bag maker. On the left, you'll see the film coming off pre-printed on a roll. It'll be inverted, turned into a tube. The back of the bag will be heat sealed. The bottom of the bag will be crimped and heat sealed. At the same time, a charge of chips will drop down, fill the bag, and then the, the bottom of that bag will be sealed and dropped out. This is the end of the process. At the end, the finished case will go over. It'll be manually checked. A label will be attached. That'll double check the time and the lot number gets attached to it then and then it's considered finished goods and goes out to the warehouse. Machines are great, but there's nothing like the human touch to make sure if it's supposed to have 30 bags in it, it absolutely does. She'll do a quick visual, make sure everything's sealed properly and then the tag is attached to it. That's pretty much the process.